This is the story of how a backyard paradise was born in the beginning of spring in a small house that borders Colorado and Utah. At the beginning of this year, I decided to buy a notebook and start making a bullet-pointed list of all the things I wanted to do with my life. Different goals, aspirations, dreams. Well, I ended up getting distracted and only put one bullet point in the notebook that said, Island Time Forever. How am I supposed to have island time forever when I'm at home in a landlocked part of the country? Well, I came up with four techniques for just that. Sunbathing. This is a perfect way to get in the island mood, even if it's overcast and 40 degrees outside. Swimming is the second tip. No matter where you're located in the country, just getting out in the water is a perfect way to shift your mindset and to turn your backyard into some kind of island dreamscape. Surfing is something you can't have an island experience without. I mean, let's face it, getting pitted by some gnarly curls is essential for a perfect beach day. Nice curls, dude. I think even John John Florence would be stoked on how hard you're smacking those sets. Hitting the tiki bar at the end of the day is an essential part of the island experience. So you better make sure your backyard bar is chill, fly, off the hook, and of course, do not forget the coconut drinks. So there you have it, you've now built your perfect backyard island time paradise. But while I was sitting out in mine, I kind of got to thinking. Island time doesn't mean having a perfect beachside fire pit. It doesn't mean having a legendary tiki bar. In fact, I don't even think it means having a luxury swimming pool in your backyard. Island time is about having a good attitude no matter what you're doing or where you are. And the sooner you figure that out, the closer you'll be to achieving the ultimate goal. Island time forever. Okay.